The first thing that we're going to work on is our breathing. The breath is, of course, one of the translations of chi. And that makes a lot of sense if you think of their idea of chi or energy being life force. We know that the thing that we need the most and the most frequently is to breathe. Um, so the breath is obviously a very important aspect of our, of our living force. Beyond that, though, breathing is the only fundamental function of the human body, the fundamental um, life-sustaining function that we have both some conscious control of, some voluntary control, but also that happens automatically. We can speed up our breath, we can make it longer or slower or fuller or shallow. We can coordinate the breath, um, breathing with different parts of the body and using different muscles. Um, but of course, and we can even hold our breath. But of course, we know that when we're unconscious, we still continue to breathe in the same way that our heart continues to beat. So the breath is oftentimes considered to be the bridge between mind and body. And as you cultivate your breath through a variety of different exercises, it'll help to link your awareness to what's happening in your body and even in your mind. So um, we'll begin. Most people breathe high in the chest with the upper intercostal muscles. <clears throat> and this kind of breathing uses mostly the upper portion of the lungs. This is the least efficient aspect, or sorry, the least efficient way of using your breathing. As we learn how to breathe using a few basic exercises, we'll see that we get a lot more out of breathing from the bottom of the torso to the top. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. The first exercise we're going to do is to learn how to breathe with the lower body. We're going to actually do an exercise that I call yin yang breathing. And that breathing exercise uses the muscles to actively squeeze breath out and then passively let breath in. Then actively continue the breath by drawing as much breath in all the way up as we can and then passively letting breath out and repeating that cycle by finishing the exhale with a squeezing of the breath. Standing to the side so that you can see my torso and you can see the lower portion of my body doing most of the work and then see the upper portion of my body filling with breath. We'll do it from the side and then facing front. First, I take a half breath in and then exhale all my breath out. Continue to exhale until I've squeezed out all my breath. Once all my breath is squeezed out and I can feel my stomach muscles contracting and squeezing and there's nothing left, then I'm going to relax my low abdomen and let breath come in without actually actively inhaling. Then, once I've filled up about halfway with breath, Passively, I'm going to actively pick up that inhale and breathe in all the way to the top. Now my lungs are filled from bottom all the way to top with, with a breath and my entire torso is expanded. Now I'm just going to relax to let the uh, portion filling in the upper lungs out, just simply passively uh, letting that out, my shoulders and chest relax. I still have a little bit of breath though, so I'm going to squeeze that the rest of the way out by really forcing it all out and contracting my abdominal muscles. Then relax to let the breath in without trying, just relax the stomach muscles. Then finish. Active inhale. Passive exhale. Active exhale. Passive inhale, active inhale, passive exhale, active exhale. So that cycle of breath, yin yang breath, will teach you how to engage the low muscles of the abdomen and also give you a feeling and idea of the natural flow of breath which is to begin from bottom to top. This kind of extreme breathing, we won't continue to practice throughout our Tai Chi. It's just a simple exercise to get you to develop the strength and coordination in your, in your breathing muscles.
a lot of people don't realize that it's the muscles of the torso, abdomen, intercostal muscles of the ribs, and so forth that help us to breathe.